Today I'm showing my PSP game collection. I have five games so far. Spider-Man 2, Family Guy the Video Game, ATV Off-Road Blazing Trails, PQ2, Practical Intelligence Quotient 2, fun puzzle game. This is kind of hard to see, I know, but that's actually Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, which is my favorite game to play on the PSP. Backs of the cases. Obviously there isn't one for Liberty City Stories because I got that without a cover sleeve. We look at the UMDs now. This is the Spider-Man 2 one. Family Guy 1. I did have to turn the case upside down though because the UMD was upside down. The little disc inside the case. Blazing Trails. I actually looked and all the rest of the discs are upside down. PQ2. You know, after having just utter silence in this video besides maybe you can hear my playstation 3 it's on in the background trying to access the playstation store but it's not doing jack squat um it would be nice to have some kind of background music for my videos and then liberty city stories sort of you can kind of see it maybe if i do this it would be a little bit better i guess obviously not much effort was required to show this UMD off because, well, there's already no cover art sleeve, because I bought it used on eBay. I mean, every single one of these games is used, but just the other three I bought from a uh, retro game store, and actually, no, Spider-Man 2, Family Guy, and... Liberty City Stories are both, are all from the internet. Uh, Blazing Trails and PQ2, they're, they're from a retro game store. And I do own a PSP, too, in case you were wondering. Uh, let's go ahead and power it on. Well, first, before I power it on, this is a PSP 1000 series. It's white, very nice color, I think. Um... Although I, I do prefer the black PSP more because that's the one I saw the most. And it matches the color of my PlayStation 3. But this white one is cool too. Um, there is just one thing I don't like about this PSP. It's a Japanese import, which means that it cannot play American movies or TV shows. But it is not region locked for games. I just, I don't know how that works. It, that's just the way it works. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and power it on. And the last time I used it, I was playing Liberty City Stories, and it's going to try to load up. And I don't know if it's going to even load up the game, because it was having trouble last time. Might have to eject the disc, or just let it sit and do its thing. So that's what we'll do. We'll just wait, see if it does anything. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, and this hasn't done jack squat either. So you're not going to get to see any gameplay. To be fair, I couldn't show off gameplay anyway, because this is supposed to be a family-friendly channel, but I might have just voided that by showing the Family Guy game. I don't know. I didn't show any gameplay, so I, I guess I would still call my channel somewhat family-friendly, even though... I don't know. I made this channel when I was younger. And I'm older now, so they're really... It really would be cool to kind of branch out and play some more mature games that I own, but for the sake of being family-friendly still, I think I should not do that. I do actually have another channel, though, that I made several years ago. Um... I think it's 
what is it called? The 2000s were pretty much the 90s. I think that's what I called it. Uh, anyway, what I could do is I could upload game videos of Grand Theft Auto and Family Guy and that kind of stuff onto there. And just keep this channel for, you know, the, the more family-friendly stuff. You know, Spider-Man, that kind of thing. That's probably what I'll do. Right now, there's only one video on that other channel that I have. And I don't even uh, know if it's worth watching anymore. But if you're if you want to check it out, you can. Um, not even sure how to add that in as channels on my on my channel. How to like recommend my second channel besides just word of mouth. So anyway, yeah, I bet if you just type in the two thousands were pretty much the nineties. Uh, that's probably one of the first things that would pop up is that channel. That's my secondary one. I don't even know why I made a second channel, to be honest. I guess I was curious. I was like, I have this channel, and I have heard of people having other channels, so why not give it a try? Why not upload other kind of stuff on a different channel and not really have it be associated with Spider-Man? Which I'll probably post some Spider-Man stuff on that channel, but I think I'm going to try to branch off and do some, some different stuff if I decide to go anywhere with that channel at all. So yeah, like I said, this isn't doing jack squat. So with that, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, you're not supposed to turn off consoles while the games are loading, but at this point I have no choice. Uh, I don't recommend doing this. If I could... There. I'll have to just eject the disc and and try again. Hopefully nothing got corrupted. That's that's one of the main things that they warn you about is data might be corrupted if you do that, which I've had happen to, to me before with different game consoles. And, you know, obviously if your game's corrupted because you did that, well, that's, you know, it's pretty crappy, but it happens. Sometimes games freeze, sometimes consoles freeze. Like, like my PlayStation 3, I mean, dude, that thing will freeze pretty often maybe it's because i've had it since 2008 maybe it's because i probably didn't take the best care of it when i was younger maybe i didn't clean it as much as i should have let it collect a lot of dust and that kind of ruined stuff but yeah even when i had it several years after i bought it i started noticing freezing issues and then it got worse as the years went on and it could be that's just the model of that ps3 it's a um the original looking PS3 where it has the Spider-Man font on top, but it's the 2008 model, not the 2006 model, so it doesn't have backwards compatibility, which I learned the hard way, even though I downloaded the PS2 um, application data, or whatever the heck it's called, to be able to get PS2 games to run on there, and still didn't work it wasn't surprising I, I knew it wouldn't I was just curious so yeah that is this video I want to get more PSP games because the PSP is a great handheld it took me like 12 years to get one and when I finally got one they were well past obsolete but hey you know whatever uh, yeah I wish I could watch movies and TV shows on this but I actually bought another PSP couple days ago it should be arriving on Monday and it is a black one and it is an American made PSP and so we'll see how that goes if it were if everything works on it like it's supposed to then I'm gonna start buying movie and TV show UMDs from my game store I like going to Thanks for watching this video, and thank you so much for 494 subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Bye.